everybody, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing my Cultivate What Matters Goal Planner. I just got this in the mail, so I'm excited to open it. I bought the six month goal planner, uh, the Cultivate What Matters Goal Planner, like a few months ago actually. So I've been using just the six month one to kind of test out if I liked it or not before I actually bought the whole like 2021 version of it. And I did like my six month version, so I went ahead and ordered the 2021 full year Cultivate What Matters Goal Planner and we are going to be unboxing that today. So this is the box that I was in. I didn't take it out yet. All I did was um, I opened the box a little bit and just peeked inside. So that's how we did. So we're going to be, um, I'm unboxing and then I'll be just walking through the planner too. So you can kind of see what's inside the goal planner and see if uh, you would like one too. So let's just go ahead and open this up. And then they give you a little card right here. So your new year starts here. So that's in the box. And then they also have the little pin. Um, it says growing good things. So it's just like a little pin that uh, I guess they give you with. They did it just for a certain time. I'm not sure if they're still giving those out, but I ordered, I guess, it, then they must still have left. So uh, that was thrown into my box. And then I'll just get these first because this is the other thing. Other than my planner that I ordered, I ordered this sticker book and I just wanted this cause like I love stickers obviously, but I thought this would be good. These are the functional stickers. And I, when I ordered my planner last year, um, well earlier this year, actually the cultivate what matters goal planner, I bought the sticker book with that too. And I really like their like color coordinating uh, stickers. So I decided to get this book for this year too. So, um, I kind of looked through what was in it. There's some like washi tape and then these, um, used to coordinate with like which goal everything is for. So, which you'll see more inside the planner, what these would be used for. So I did get that sticker book. That's the only kind of accessory that I got with this. I didn't get too much with this cause, um, it is a little expensive. Like I bought this with my own money. I don't think they do any like referrals or anything. I will put this link in the, or I'll put this planner's link in the description box below in case you do want one of these planners. Um, but here's the sticker book. So I'm excited to use this along with it. It does look a little different than last year's. This was last year's. I keep saying last year, but I mean 2020. <laughs> so this is 2021. Um, so I was using some from this, but I wanted to get a new one. I still have some left in here, but they're the same color. So I figured if I ran out of this, then I can have them in my new sticker book. And now we get to open the actual planner. All right, so I haven't actually looked at this yet. I just got it opened up now. And this definitely feels different than my um, the planner that I have from 2020, like the six month goal planner. This is like a linen cover um, and it feels like uh, here, I'll, I'll show you my old one too. This was like a smooth, hard cover. And then this one's hard still, but it's like more of a linen cover. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and I got the, I think it's called like Blue Skies. I have some paper and stuff on here, but it looks really pretty. This was my favorite color that they had um, this year. Just plain blue. And then the, it just has the gold planner in there. So this, I know they changed some things from last year. They have like a better coil. Mine's a little different. Like I said, I only got the six month from last year. So this is all I have to compare like the 2020 and 2021 planner. So this is like the undated planner that I got for like from a few months ago this year. And then this is the full year, which it's definitely thicker because it's a full year. But I have heard that this is actually thinner than the 2021, I mean, 2020 full year planner. They kind of condense some things, which I'm kind of excited about because the, um, I do know that the, just the work in the beginning of this was a lot. And I guess they kind of uh, put it down so it's like more concise. So let's just walk through this. So here's just a piece of paper. I'll throw that over here. Then a little, looks like a little guidebook. Uh, just helps you get started with this because it is, this is a goal planner. It's not so much an everyday planner. It just, it's to help you 
um, achieve your goals. So there's a little quick start guide, it looks like. All right, and then there's a place to write your name, so that's cool. Uh, this is really nice when they have the pocket in there too, so there's nothing in there. All right, let's just walk through this. It's a really pretty planner, and it feels like really heavy duty. This is like super thick, so that that's really nice. And the coil feels really thick and sturdy too. Um, and it's got this nice gold foil like all throughout the planner. So we start out, here's some stickers, and this was in the my six month planner too. So I use a lot of these. Like I said, I use a lot of these flags. Um, and then I kind of like these, these say priority and remember. Um, and then there's little heart stickers in these, but they all coordinate with the, like you, your goal, you, each goal you have, you can have like match up with one color. So throughout the month, whenever you have it and you have something that relates to that goal, you can put like a little heart or one of these little cultivate what matters like leaf stickers, or they have little dots too. So it's easy to see when you're looking through your planner, like what, what kind of goals you're, what, what goals you're like lining everything up with. All right, so here's the first page, just another little text page talking about the planner and kind of <laughs> that 2020 was a challenging year. So, and then we get into the actual like work part of it. So this has, at the beginning of it, there's quite a bit of, I guess you would call it work, um, kind of work to just like figure out what your goals are gonna be for the year. Um, this is just a little bit updated from what last year's like 2020s and the six month planner that they released in 2020 um, was. So we have a goal ideas page. Th this is all for you to figure out what do you want your goals to be. So it's not just like asking you, what do you want your goals to be for the year? It's having you like kind of explore yourself and figure out where you kind of want to be. There's probably something... Um, or there should be something in here. There was something in last year's where it was like, where do you want to be in like a few years? Where do you want to have been like when you're 80? <laughs> so like, and then you like can choose your goals to get you to that point in life. So I think that's why I really like this. It kind of walks you through everything. So it's not just like you just are coming up with goals. So this is a, what makes you come alive? What fires me up? So it's like brainstorming here. And this is similar to what the, last the 2020 planner had um and i really like that they break it up into all these separate like parts of your life um like it says health friends spouse or focal relationship family finances spiritual personal growth work and recreation so this kind of helps you be a little more rounded in your goals so you're not just doing like all money goals or all like health and fitness goals so this is nice because it helps like every aspect of your life you're um thinking about how how am i doing in all these areas all right and here's like little mini essays i guess you could write just write a little bit um some questions and then you can answer them um these are like what worked from last year and what didn't work in the last year and then we have more questions um what have you decided that you cannot do? There was something like this last time. And then uh, your identity box, kind of like who I am, moving past fear. And then here's the big picture. Here's the kind of imagine yourself many years from now. So what will have mattered? What won't have mattered? I really like thinking about this kind of stuff. It helps me focus on, all right, what do I really want to be doing with my life right now? So... Those are really nice and it's very good. All this like just gets you thinking and it's nice. You write things down and it's all just kind of a brainstorm. It doesn't like, I kind of write down whatever comes to mind. So it's, it's like, I know in like new planners, it's hard because you want to make everything perfect. But I feel like in this, it's mainly like a, it, it is like a brainstorm and you, you have to just kind of write whatever comes to your head because um, that is what's going to help you make the best goals for you. And it, and it makes you like think about what what you really want. Like I've said, like it's just this is this is really good. It takes a long time um, to set this up, but then it's like there's so much payoff in the end. So here's like I, it's like a little Mad Libs thing. You kind of go back and they have pages like you filled out all those things previously, and then you go through this and it says like in the past I have, and then you put it into a sentence, but you just take what you wrote on page 12 and 13 and like condense it down into one sentence right here. So that's what that is. 
All right, you know what you want to cultivate now. Let's do something about it. So this is the actual goal setting part then. So you kind of figured out, all right, what's important to you? Then you get into the goal setting part. So it talks a little bit about just kind of almost like instructions, just kind of like for goals. And then here's your rough draft of yearly goals. All right. This has actually, this looks different than the last year. Last year, uh, 2020 had this on two pages and it was kind of big. You had like, it was like double this space. So you had a bunch of room to write down your goals, but I think you only need this much room actually. So I like that they put it down to only one page, but each you can make, I, I think I only made five goals for the second half of this year. Um, they only recommend up to eight and the colors I believe there are eight colors, so um, that's like perfect. Let's just check that real quick. Um, that would make the most sense. Or there could be maybe a little more than eight, but at least eight colors. Okay, there's 10 colors. Actually, that's good because then if you start a new goal, you can actually make it a new color. So that's cool. There's plenty of colors to choose from. And if you don't like one color, you don't have to use it also. <laughs> so that's cool. Vision board, I didn't do this last year, but I think I'm going to do it this year. Um, I just, I kind of, I didn't spend as much time as I would have liked to, um, just because I felt like it was like a, I was just kind of testing it out. So I wasn't, I just kind of skipped this part. So, but I really want to do it. I, I want to do a vision board. I like vision boards. I like the idea of vision boards. So I'm going to do that this year. And then I did this last year also for the word of the year. So this is really cool. A lot of people have words of the year. I never did that before, but I picked one this year and I was really happy with like, I put it on my phone so I could see it every day. Um, but there you choose a word and it kind of goes through like a little bit of how you can choose a word for the year. Okay, now we're getting into the like more in depth into the goals. So each of these, I think there's probably one yeah, one of these like two page spreads for each goal. So it's all the same. So there's eight of these, I believe. Goal seven, goal eight. Yep. So there's the eight, the pages for your eight goals and then it's the action plan for the goal. So you put that yearly goal that you wrote previously and then you, you say why you want this goal, which is nice because it then hopefully that'll like give you motivation if you don't wanna, if you kind of start giving up on it like this is why i'm doing it and then you fill out these pages these are like mini goals that you can do along the way to get to your yearly goal and then here's action steps for your mini goal and this all is just for january through march so this planner kind of breaks it into three months um and then you can kind of refresh your goals see how your goals are going if you need to change a goal maybe one's not working out um or going like slower than you expected to maybe you need to like fix some action steps for it. So you do a little refresh every three months. So I also like that a lot about this planner. It's like, you're not like stuck with your goals for the whole year. You can change them. All right. And like I said, there's eight of those. And then we get through that. And then it's the yearly overview. Yeah, there's the goal eight yearly overview. You can put all that in all, all these, like I said, by quarters. So here's quarter one, two, three, and four. And then we get into the months. They do have, so this is like, they talk about wild cards here. They have some more pages online on their website that you can put on these. You can put it like here, um, like print it out and put it here that if they help you, they're just like separate, actual separate pieces of paper. You can print them out and then stick it on here. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use any of those, but you can go to cultivatewhatmatters.com slash wildcard. And then there's a whole bunch of sheets you could do. Like, I think there's like book lists and stuff you could put on anywhere, basically. Um, and, and a bunch of other stuff too, not just books, lists, book lists, but that's one example. Um, all right. So now we get into the actual month and this is where you'll see it's, this is definitely a goal planner. It's not a planner. It only has a month layout there's no weekly layouts daily layouts nothing like this is all you get for the planning actual part of it so what i'm gonna do for this is actually just put information in here that is like relevant for my goals um and i may put like 
I mean, if we go on vacation and stuff, that is relevant because that's why I'm not like moving towards any of my goals possibly. So things like that, you can put whatever you want in here. Um, but mainly I want this to focus on like what's going to affect my goals. So that's what this planner is for my goals. So that's why we're going to do that. And this page right here, this is, this is the layout for every month. So you have these four kind of questions, um, like writing topics to just fill out every month. Then you can fill out your monthly spread. And then the first one shows you how to make attending lists. So this is what Cultivate What Matters is like known for their tending lists. And this is like a big last, last, uh, the 2020s definitely didn't have all like, this is kind of like nice looking. The other one was just kind of a list, I think. It wasn't this fancy or anything. So you can read through this and that'll help you know what attending list is and how to make attending list which is actually right here. So these are basically just the little actions you're gonna be taking throughout the month to reach your goals. Um, and this is perforated so you can tear it out um, and like put it on your fridge, put it anywhere that you can see it so you don't have to have your planner open all the time. Um, and there's a little brainstorm right here, the, like a brainstorm page. And then you have your month in review, which I like these two. I like reviewing the month and then you can see like kinda just check in every month and see how everything is going. And then that'll help you prepare for the next month. So these are all the same. And then once you get to March, that's done. But then you open April. And then this is the start of the second quarter. So like I said, the refresh, um, it, it like does a refresh then. So then you have another, you kind of can reset your goals. So you reevaluate like where you are in all these categories again. Um, and then these I think are different for each quarter. Uh, just kind of a try this at home. It's kind of like a little thing you can do in the spring. And then when I'm saying yes to this quarter, when I'm saying no to this quarter, and here's the refreshed goals list. So it's nice that you can do this every quarter. This will be good to fill out and it'll be a nice break. See how you're doing with your goals, fill that out. And then this is another page where you, you put down your yearly goal, goal and then you the mini goal and then all your action steps that you can do throughout the next three months in this quarter. So we get uh, eight of these two. You can have, you have the eight goals and then you start with back for April's, which is the same as January, February, March, May, June, then July, you get a new refresh. And then October, you get a new refre refresh. So then we get to December and I don't think there's anything. Okay, at the very end, Here's the end of December, like like it is everywhere. <laughs> it says, look at you, you did it. So um, then we do the 2021 year in review. And then it has these kind of like the monthly reviews, the ending, but um, that's the end of the goal planner then. So that was the little walkthrough of the Cultivate What Matters goal planner. So, I'm excited to get using this. I'm going to be setting this up. They have a blog and they actually have something where you can kind of walk through setting up um, your goal planner, which I'm definitely going to do. I like doing it while there's, there's a blog and then she has a podcast too. You can do it too. So that's really helpful because it kind of can walk you through, especially the first part where you're setting everything up. Um, so it doesn't seem so intimidating, I guess. So if you go to the blog, um, I'll try to put that in the description box below too. So that'll help you out. But that's my unboxing for this planner. If you have any questions about this, just you can just put them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.